19 months after a freshman student at Lafayette High School was gunned down. Gunned down. Gunned down because he was wandering the halls. He wasn't a member of a gang. He didn't have a weapon on him when he got suspended. He was like a typical teenager who needed some guidance and direction, who had been suspended repeatedly for one thing and one thing only, and that was skipping class. And what was his price? His life. And some people want to suggest that maybe he deserved to die. Even though the district attorney, the lead prosecutor for the case, said that he was an innocent bystander. Even though the star witness in the case was a Buffalo school teacher, people still try to infer that maybe he would have died eventually anyway like the rest of the kids. There was a big promise that the wheels had changed would move swiftly, that something would be done. But it took 19 months and a year long, two years long of meetings, some by the DPCC, I'm glad to see Sam here, and some by Citizen Action and other groups. And you know what? Change, like Dr. King says, still hasn't come. Yeah, we've tinkered around the edges. Yeah, we made a couple uh, footnotes to the policy. But the fact of the matter is, is that kids are being kicked out of school and if you Google this, take, while you're here, because many of you have cell phones, Google school to prison pipeline. And a poster will be Buffalo Public Schools as this state relates to it. So what I'm saying to you today is we need in-school suspension. Every speaker that's come up before us has said that you have all these services, but they're not coordinated for the in-school suspension program. So we have counselors and intervention people, classroom next to classroom. And the kids that are in trouble don't get the support that they need on a consistent basis. Then we have schools where some schools have in-school suspension and others don't. We have some policies that exist in one school and another school they don't. So what we wind up doing is kids that are starting in kindergarten. Lord, please help me tell me what a kid must do in kindergarten to get suspended from school. Through this research, I have asked people that own private daycares and non-for-profit daycares that serve poor kids. And I asked them, I say, you serve low-income parents? You serve kids that only have a mother, maybe the great-grandmother, maybe the aunt, or maybe the foster parent is taking care of that kid. When those kids go to daycare, do you kick them out? Do you, when, do you kick bad kids out? How often do you do that in the course of one year? And most of them have said, not at all. So how come a kid can go from some six months to all the way to four to five years of age at daycare and never get sent home. But the minute they get to kindergarten, now they have a problem, they gotta get sent home. Just help me understand. So I say to you in the spirit of Dr. King, it's taken 19 months to get to this point. Well, let's not allow it to take another 19 months before we change the policy for out-of-school suspension and the policies for in-school suspension. Let's make them standardized. Let's coordinate the resources. And let's make sure that Jawan Daniels' memory is not in vain. Thank you, Dr. Right.